Hello everybody. So I know there was a little bit of confusion about this other constructor, the second constructor for the linked list deck and array deck classes. So that's understandable because one, it's quite unlike anything that we saw during lecture. And two, it actually turns out there's a little piece of syntax, which I'll highlight in this video that I didn't show you in lecture that's necessary here. And that was my mistake whenever I uh, added this constructor here. So what I'd like you to do uh, is only watch this video if you have finished everything in linked list deck or array deck except for this constructor. Uh, and at this point, you're now ready to try and do this somewhat tricky constructor. So let's just jump right into IntelliJ. And here I see linked list deck. And making a copy, it might seem, would be just as easy as saying sentinel equals other.sentinel and size equals other dot size. And what that would do for me is basically create a linked list deck that is a copy of the other one. However, they'd really just be pointing to the same underlying object. That is, any change I make to me will affect the list that I am supposedly a copy of, which is not what we want. So if we look here, it's supposed to be a deep copy. So instead, we need to do something else. What should we do? Well, if we look at the hints, down in the uh, spec or the tips, it says it will be substantially easier for you if you implement these constructors after you've implemented everything else. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm assuming that you have done everything else, and so now we're going to write our code knowing that. So the first thing we're going to do in order to make a copy is well, we're going to start from an empty linked list deck, and then we're going to copy all of the items. Now, one approach that I saw come up in office hours was students would do something like node p equals other.sentinel and then write some sort of loop while maybe p.next and then while p not equal to sentinel something something. And that approach can work fine, but I'm going to give another alternate and easier approach, albeit less efficient. So in this approach, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, let's go through each item of the other list and what I'm going to do now is get the if item from that list. And what should I do with that? Well, I'm going to add to me that item. So I say add last other dot get i, and this will do everything I need. Now here's the piece of syntax I did not give you, and this is where I said it was my mistake. Uh, we need a cast here. Now why do we need a cast? Well, if we look at this constructor, it is saying, give me a linked list deck of anything, not necessarily of t's, and build me a linked list deck. Uh, and the trouble is that in this current context, we're thinking about a linked list deck of t's or YOLOs or whatever. Uh, and so what I need to do here is actually cast the item I get from the unknown typed linked list deck to t using this notation. Now this is pretty weird code and so it should make you feel a little uncomfortable, and I don't want you to be too bothered by it. I'm not going to test this on the midterm, uh, but basically what's going on here is just that my current generic type may not be the same as the other, oops, as the other linked list deck, so I need to cast. Kind of like what we saw with the generic array casting for array deck. So that's basically it. Uh, one other note I'd like to make is really the signature in a actual industrial strength implementation would look like this. So we're saying I'm going to assume that the other linked list deck has the same generic type as me, and that I don't need the cast, and that would be better. But we were unable to do that for auto grader constraint reasons. And unfortunately, I was a little out of the loop whenever I was talking to the TAs about this. And so we ended up with this slightly uh, strange declaration that made the code weird. So apologies for any of you guys who are stressed out by this or continue to be stressed out because it seems like generics are a little funny. I don't want you to be stressed out about generics. This is not a class on Java, so we're not going to go super deep into them. So don't worry about it. Okay. Uh, and congratulations, by the way, to those of you who did figure this out. Uh, and I hope it seems at least somewhat interesting. But type systems, especially when generics are involved, could be a little funny. All right, that's it. And uh, I'll see you around.